are tracking a lonely band of heavy snow that is continuing to slide across El Paso County. Really made for some issues around Colorado Springs, just as many of you were heading home from work. Take a look from Fountain right now, where we are still tracking a bit of that snow falling. 21 degrees, the current temperature there, and I called it lonely because it's really the only one that we're tracking. This band of snow has weakened somewhat over the past hour or so, but is still causing some issues for I-25 around southern El Paso County, so keep that in mind. You can see it as it slides slid across Colorado Springs now pushing toward Fountain and dropping farther toward the south. It is continuing to shift off toward the south and east, so we will keep monitoring it. We have another area of snow still falling around Trinidad. Trinidad has been tracking snow for much of the day. Reports from Trinidad show, though, that there's not much of that snow actually sticking to the roads right now. Take a look at your skycast. We'll continue to track these showers through the remainder of the evening. Skies then clear, heading toward midnight. So the snow is going to finally come to an end tonight. That has been probably the most Frequently asked question on Facebook this afternoon when is it coming to an end? Tonight. The snow ends tonight. By tomorrow morning, we'll have plenty of sunshine to get you out the door. And we are going to keep that sun in place through much of the day. Skycast showing mostly sunny skies through noon and then again into tomorrow evening. Temperature wise, tomorrow should be much nicer than it was today, also. It's going to be a frigid night tonight, so we are going to start off the day tomorrow very cold. We're dropping to two degrees in Colorado Springs, three degrees in Pueblo. We'll be below zero in both Gunnis and Leadville. Lime and also dropping to sub zero temperatures. But by tomorrow afternoon, we should double the temperatures we had out there today, which is going to put us at 35 degrees in Colorado Springs, 36 in Pueblo with temperatures in the low 30s for the lower Arkansas River Valley. Still below where we should be this time of year, but much nicer in comparison to the temperatures we had out there today. And with the sunshine, that's just going to make it feel even nicer. We're going to keep the sun in place through Friday. We'll kick up the clouds this weekend, but check out those temperatures. How nice does an afternoon in the 40s and 50s sound right about now. That's what we're expecting this weekend, so plan on getting outside and enjoying that. We'll keep the 50s around Monday, Tuesday, 60 degrees will be your high temperature next Wednesday. So this warming trend is going to stick around for a little while, and you'll notice not a chance for snow over the next seven days. Not for Colorado Springs and not for Pueblo either. 36 degrees tomorrow. We warm it to 49 on Friday. Temperatures cool, just a handful of degrees on Saturday, but we are right back in the 50s and 60s Sunday into Monday, and we are going to keep those 60s around Monday, Tuesday and again on Wednesday. Canyon City, 37 degrees tomorrow, 50 degrees on Friday. We'll have 40s and 50s over the weekend with 60s taking us from Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. In Teller County, 34 degrees tomorrow, 43 on Friday with 40 Saturday, Sunday, 50s are back Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I wanted to show you this picture because I think it really shows you how much snow we have had so far this season. This is from Florissant. That's up in Teller County. And this is Snow Angel, and I had to look at this picture pretty closely to kind of figure out what was going on. It looks like maybe they're burying themselves on their head. I'm not quite sure. But anyways, it shows you just how much snow that they have had up there. In Colorado Springs and Pueblo, we have had more snow so far this season than all of last year. Yeah. And it's only March. I think they made yeah. the classic snow angel mistake. They started and then they pushed all the snow on their oh. head instead of starting. Instead going, of clearing yeah. it down. Oh. That's a, yeah, see. Well, this is coming from a snow angel professional. I guess so. Well, I will know what to do chance. later on. Yeah, <laughs> that totally makes, makes sense. sense. Oh, rookie mistake. Oh man. <laughs> Thanks to Joe B for obviously sending that. They don't call you an investigative journalist for nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Three kids, you learn that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, Peyton decision 2015 could finally be decided, but it comes with a hitch, with a lot of zeros behind.